Oreo is an eight-year-old Labrador cross. Look at little Oreo. Viewers watching GB <laughs> News on TV and YouTube will be able to see that she's absolutely gorgeous. If you are listening on radio, Oreo, as I've said, is a lab cross. Little bit of grey around the mouth. A bit smaller than a lab, I would say. Maybe about average lab size. Looks like a lovely dog. But the heartbreaking news is that she's been at this rescue centre now for more than a year. And not a single person has come forward to oh. see her. So, not even just like, oh, they might rehome her. No one's actually booked in to come and even have a little look at Oreo, OK? Which I think is tragic. <sighs> so, to tell us more about the beautiful Oreo and hopefully convince one of you wonderful people to give Oreo a second chance at life, I'm delighted to be joined now by Chris Swallow, who's the dog section team leader at Wood Green Pets Charity. Thank you so much for joining us. How's Oreo today? Oreo is great. Oreo is loving life, just looking for that sofa to go rest and live out the rest of her life, have a great time, and just be relaxed. Oh, we can see pictures on our screen now of the wonderful Oreo. What's the temperament of Oreo like? Do you think that they'd be OK in a, in a, in a family home? What kind of house do they, do they need? Oreo is looking for your usual home, not too many visitors. She does have some visit to reaction when she's first getting to know somebody. But as time goes on, as she becomes your friend, all she wants to do is play with you and sit on the sofa and rest her head against your lap. Important question, is she good on a walk? She's very good on a walk. She can be a little scared around motorbikes and bikes. But as long as you're walking somewhere where you can see far enough in the distance to be able to manage her anxieties, she's great on a walk, as you can see in the video. Chris, I've got to be honest with you. Being, having anxiety around bikes and motorbikes, I think, makes Oreo go up, in my estimation. Bikes around London are a menace, and so are the motorbikes. So I think Oreo's got a good sense of taste there uh, in more ways than one, I suppose. Any special needs for Oreo? If someone's looking at this now and thinking, you know, maybe we could, maybe we could take her on. Has she got any special, I don't know, dietary requirements, any health concerns or anything? Yeah, so as she's a black lab, as we know, all Labradors love their food and she isn't any different. So we do have to make sure, like all of us, that she is watching her weight. OK, all right. Now, the cost of living crisis is going through the roof, of course, and we're hearing these rather depressing stories about many people giving their beloved family pets away, potentially to rescue centres like yourself. Um, and I was just wondering how you've noticed things change in, in recent months. Definitely. Over the last few months, we're definitely getting a lot busier. We're seeing a lot more dogs coming in, a lot more strays coming in. So it's very tough for the team. We're all working really hard to just make sure that these lovely dogs like Oreo find their homes as quickly as possible. But it is definitely having an impact on everybody with their animals. 100%. And thank you very, very much for all of the work that you do, Chris, really. It's International Dog Day as well. If people have seen Oreo and they've fallen in love with her, how do they get in touch with you? How can they arrange to give Oreo a second chance at life? So the best way to come organise um, a meet for Oreo is just visit woodgreen.org.uk. All our dogs are on there. We've got dogs, guinea pigs, rabbits. Come to see them. Come give them a home. They need you as much as we need them. Look, thank you very much, Chris. Great to have you on the show and good luck. Let us know, by the way, if anyone does come forward, give us a shout because we do like to do follow-ups. We have had one dog, Aurora, the kind of German shepherd crossed with something else that was beautiful. But it's a bit trickier sometimes, isn't it, for the slightly older dogs. But Oreo seems lovely and good luck to you and good luck to everyone there as well, of course, at Wood Green Pets Charity. Great to have you on the show, Chris. Thank you very much. Cheers.